Hi everyone, our journal page today and it's again using your scraps. I've got tons of things that are just laying on my uh, desk and stashes and I want to use them. And my focal point is going to be this. Now this is just some uh, stickers I had and I've put them on a book page and just stained a little bit in the background now i've got each time i have pieces like uh, stickers or uh, little pieces of paper napkins like this one and i don't want them to just uh, go everywhere i'm just sticking them to a book page and if it's a an old a uh, paperback uh, then it's better because you have this lovely a uh, brownish a uh, color so it's easier to just stick it down and then you have something to work with and it doesn't get lost here we go just putting it here of course you can do it with a uh, white glue i'm just I just want you to see what I'm talking about. I already have here some white glue and it's with a little bit of water. I'm also going on top and what's great about a paper napkins, they have trans some transparency and if it's on white background then it just disappears. So. Here we go and I can work with it with for another project or in this project I had this piece lying around so I just again glued it to this book uh, page so I know that I want this to be my focal image so what I've done is just a uh, go over my stashes and take things that I think will work with it if and you just assemble things that will work if it's a uh, color wise or theme wise like I've got purple and blue here so I've got this paper napkin this paper napkin this one I've got some flowers some more paper napkins these are more for embellishment maybe leftovers uh, maybe the blue flowers will work so that's just paper napkins I've got all those things I've showed you that I've just glued to uh, book pages some uh, pages that I have on uh, from a dictionary that uh, each time that I have excess paint I'm just putting it there and I thought maybe I can use it b because of the color. I've got some a uh, fake a uh, handmade paper. I've got a video how to make this. I can uh, put a link below if it's something that interests you. What uh, else did I take? <laughs> I've got some uh, lace trim and also my notebook again for excess paint and maybe i will use something from here each time i have leftovers i just uh, put it here like cleaning a stencil it's here i had i've used a stencil with this design i had leftover a paste so i've put it here and cleaned it here so i've got uh, all kinds of things to work with i also have this was a card from a game and again just book page some a uh, torn paper from music notes don't remember what this was and a sticker so as you can see you can uh, go and take out a uh, lots of stuff from your stashes and work with it now there are no rules for what I'm doing. It's not planned. The only thing that's planned is the focal point, which is this. 
Now I want a lot of torn paper so I want to well like frame my page and I'm going to use this dark uh, purple I can also could also have used black whatever another purple this is like purple with a little bit of brown in it I th that's how it looks at least I'm only doing uh, the edges so when I'm starting to glue all kinds of torn paper I won't have white showing at the edges that's the only thing it doesn't even have to be acrylic paint you can take any kind of marker felt pens permanent uh, markers and do the edges really doesn't matter I think that for me uh, it's more about the color that I want than what it is if it's an acrylic paint or marker and I wanted this color at the edges if I don't have this specific color in <laughs> whatever in felt pens or markers then I won't use them so that's the only thing that me is making my decision so I've got this and it, it needs to dry a little bit so I won't smear it all over and let's take just before everything dries okay so now it's just playing I'm laying this here just so it's in my uh, I can see it and I'm starting and for me a starting point a good starting point is always a book page and it has lovely color and I don't but I don't want straight edges so I'm just tearing some and I don't care if it's a readable or at the right angle <laughs> or whatever it can be flipped like this it really doesn't matter most of it will uh, get covered because I'm going to layer a lot of uh, paper here and I only torn this side because I'm planning on sticking it here and again a lot of things will go on top of it so I don't care about the straight edge here and because it's just a book page and very flimsy paper I don't need any special glue just a glue stick will do the trick and here it is gluing it down so as you can see now I don't have white showing here and it doesn't matter how crooked I've torn uh, this piece so I'm thinking of putting another uh, page let's take this one and sticking it here let's see I really want to use some some of this because they have a lot of texture so it's going to add a lot of interest to my page and once again I'm going to pair again not planned just go with the flow do whatever you think and just have fun with it once again just a glue stick i think it would be enough and yeah here 
Now, when I'm doing something like that, uh, I like to have, if I have a, this kind of book page, I will try to at least uh, put it in another place. So I will have three showings, even if it will pick like one cent centimeter from somewhere, it's enough for me. And it doesn't need to be on the same layer. I can build more and more layers and then I will decide that another book page will pick. So it doesn't have to be on this first layer. So let's see, what else do I want? Let's... I'm taking from this one. Maybe, I don't know. Here we go. We have a decision. <laughs> it's just plain. It, there really isn't any rules for it. Let it stick here. Okay, and now if you like a, a more vintage look, you can go over all the edges with some brown uh, ink pad, whatever you've got. I don't, for this project, I'm not really wanting to start each piece to, I'm lazy, I don't want to <laughs> go over the pieces. <laughs> okay, let's see, maybe this one. Again, tearing straight edges. Sometimes it just doesn't tear as you want it. Never mind. It's not all the same color, it's not, but they are all in some kind of a group of a purples and, and blue, so it works. On the first layer, I'm not uh, putting down the paper napkins I've uh, shown you yet because they have they are translucent. I want first to have a solid a uh, layer, solid layer of <laughs> some kind of <laughs> coverage before I'm uh, putting down anything else. Oh, 
I think this is enough as I said all of this will get covered so there is no point of wasting a uh, paper here so next 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 I want more of this paper to show in another place you see I'm building up layers and not the whole piece will show just part of it and the goal is to have a lot of interesting layers that will end with this piece so let's see just another i think another piece of this i like that i have like a gold a pieces that give light so I have texture, I have some highlights, I have text, lots and lots of interest. Okay, let's see, maybe now is the time for one of the paper napkins or this kind of stuff maybe if these two angels will peek underneath I don't know as I said playing maybe 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 if i'll glue this to something and maybe if i glue it like this and then yeah i think that's what i'm going to do for this i need my glue and a soft brush First I'm going to glue it, I'm going to let this dry and only then I will uh, tear it. So it needs lots and lots of glue, especially if I want the, this is like a cream uh, or very light yellow. If I want it to disappear into this background, I need to make sure I have a good coverage of glue okay let's see now very uh, gently because I have a lot of texture and I don't want it to tear this image and very soft brush and I don't know if you can see it but when I'm going over it I'm going with the flat of the brush like this and you need a lot of glue so it will slide and not drag uh, your paper napkin so I hope you can see where I have glue that it disappears into the background and here where I didn't put any glue you can still see the color of the background of the paper napkin Okay, 
So we've got this and it needs to dry completely before I'm tearing the strip I want from this. So I think I'll lay it a, just put it aside and let's see if I can add more to this uh, building of layers. Let's see, maybe I can use something from here. It's really, uh, it's really bright. I here I have some leftover gesso underneath. That's why it's uh, lighter than the other stuff. And let's see. As I said, just playing. Yeah, I think this will work here. building up layers and yes I know that mo some things get covered but it's worth it that's at least my take on it let's see if I can put another piece What's the worst that could happen? It's just pieces of paper. Lots and lots of mess, but as I said, let's hope it will come uh, together. Maybe. This particular page is very brittle. That's the only hazard with old books. The, the paper dries and becomes brittle. I think, yeah, I think I'll put it here and it will pick. Maybe I can put these two angels. Maybe let's tear it and see if I can. I'm trying to tear without too much uh, excess so they won't take a lot of space on my page. They are like an ornament. They are not the focal image. The only thing that bothers me is that if I'm putting my focal image here, something like that, I don't want it to go on this little guy's head. But maybe just maybe I will leave this piece to the end and it will go over this corner of my focal image a little bit. So 
so it won't be so uh, or maybe I can move it I'll leave it to the end and we'll see I basically I want this uh, piece my focal image to be something here okay so now I need for this to be dry before I continue so I'll uh, make it dry or wait for it to dry and I'll be back I'm back so here is the strip I wanted and now I am quite <laughs> a <laughs> lost the words never mind I took the page uh, this one and just uh, eyeballed it and tore it so it will fit as uh, some kind of frame from this piece and I'm just going to glue this now I wanted it to uh, be more to pop up more so just putting it here now I'm thinking something like that and I have a piece of this uh, lace trim maybe here yeah let's put it here I think this needs white glue generously <laughs> yeah this should probably do the trick and I think this is going here I think this one up oh good I just lifted the trim I've glued without noticing the more texture I've got underneath the, the more difficult it is to glue pieces down but I'll make it okay let's see Yeah, I think this is where it's going. Let's just put lots and lots of glue just to make sure everything will stay in place. Now let's see if my two angels can fit here. Yeah, I think they can. Just a little bit. Of glue. And I think that I am finished with this page. And I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to put pressure here uh, for everything to glue down, to be glued down, and then I'll come back so we can see it in place and not just taking off the page. I'll be back. I'm back. So everything is stuck down, and I've looked at it, and I felt like something was missing, so I went through my stash of butterflies and just added this butterfly here and this one here and I just needed to find something that won't steal the limelight <laughs> of my focal image so that's my page I hope you liked it I hope you will have fun with your scraps thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below bye